Hello everyone, Fancy here, you're watching Fantavision, and, well, I gotta say, Pokemon Blue, right up there, favorite Pokemon of all time, mostly due to nostalgia, but when I be went back and played Fire Red and Leaf Green, it did cement that I really loved the original set of Pokemon. I mean, they're, they really just hold a special place in my heart, and honestly, I wish I still had my original Pokemon games because I regret as a kid being an idiot and selling red, blue, yellow, gold, silver, and crystal. I don't, I couldn't tell you why I sold them. I wish I could. I think I have an inkling of a reason, but it's so stupid that it makes sense for a kid to think this way. When it comes to Game Boy Color, most of those games looked and played like absolute crap because that's what the technology was back then. They looked primitive, they played very poorly, especially when the game originally was on a different console and then ported to the Game Boy Color and it was somehow supposed to come anywhere close to the quality of the other systems. For instance, one of the games that I did not sell and still have for some reason is Grand Theft Auto for the Game Boy Color. Yeah, so I sold all of my Pokemon games that are fun, enjoyable times, that play perfectly on a handheld, and I kept the IGN rated 4 out of 10 Grand Theft Auto for the Game Boy Color instead. I don't... Why? Why did I do that to myself? Why did I subject myself to so many different crappy games on the Game Boy Color, and then just decided to get rid of the classics? I even had the Pokemon trading card game, which, by the way, was still not super easy to play and was still very primitive, but it was pretty fun at the time when I finally started slowly trying to figure out how to actually play the Pokemon card game, because as a kid, nobody really played the Pokemon card game. Nobody knew how the game was played. I, in fact, actually didn't even know that it was an actual game. I know it says trading card game on all of the packs, but I thought trading cards was the game. And I feel like most people did. I never knew anybody that actually knew how to play the Pokemon card game. We would just trade them around. It was a ton of fun. Thankfully, I don't regret selling all of those because I didn't. I still have my original collection of Pokemon cards. Maybe I'll show you guys someday if you guys care. But, I for some reason sold all of my original Pokemon games. I mean, that was probably the stupidest thing I could have done. I can't get over how bad a lot of those Game Boy Color games I played back then, and how little I actually progressed in any of them. Like, for instance, Grand Theft Auto. Again, that critically acclaimed 4 out of 10. I didn't understand how to play the game at all. I would, uh, I'd know to answer the phone to get the first quest, and I didn't quite understand what they wanted me to do. I would steal a car, maybe shoot some people, run over some cops, but that was about it, and then I would die. Like, I'd basically just start the game, steal some stuff, shoot some people, and then I would die, and I would restart the game over and over and over. That was the amount of gameplay I had with that, and that was the game I chose to keep instead of all those Pokemon games. I went through this weird phase as a child, and this is where we're getting to the point where I guess this is why I sold those games that I just didn't want to be treated like a kid anymore. Even though I was a child, I was like seven, I think, when I sold them all, maybe it was nine or something like that. I was trying to act more adult. So I wanted to play older titles. In fact, I didn't play another Pokemon game until the Nintendo DS. So I missed Ruby, I missed Sapphire, I missed Emerald, I missed Fire Red and Leaf Green. I had to play those at the kid I babysat at the Times house because I didn't have those games because I was too old to play it. And then of course, when I played Fire Red and Leaf Green, I loved it and I could not believe that I hadn't been playing this whole time. So when the DS came out and those new Pokemon games came out, I had to get it and I got Pokemon Diamond, which I again later sold <sighs> with my complete collection of DS games like I told you guys in my last video, which is just... I'm still 
in utter shock of how stupid that was. By the way, speaking of the Nintendo DS game, if you haven't seen that video, please do check that out after this one. But I am trying to get in contact with the people that are running the archive. So far, they haven't gotten back to me through email, so I'm going to try to find some phone numbers. I know where they're located, but I don't want to just go to an empty building or go to a building that's locked and look like an idiot. So I'm going to try to figure out how to do that, but I am working on visiting my old DS collection. Anyway, back to when I sold my entire Pokemon game collection, and <laughs> unfortunately, I know those for a fact are not in some wonderful archive. Those wound up at some GameStop equivalent, and that's it. They're just gone. I'll never be able to see those games again. And thankfully, I've gotten most of those games back, but I just can't believe that I was going through this phase of my life where I just didn't want to associate with anything related to kids stuff. I was trying to get out of all the fads. I was looking around at my peers that were into Beyblades and Yu-Gi-Oh! And I was trying to avoid all of these different fads that were sweeping the schools because I, I kept being told by my parents that this was a waste of money, which it was! But I mean, those fads were kind of fun as a kid, like Crazy Bones. Does anyone remember Crazy Bones? No, of course most people don't, but there are these little plastic monster things. I don't even know if I can find a picture online of them, but if I did, there they are. I liked these little things where you collected them, and I got into like Mighty Beans for a little bit, if you remember that too, but as I was trying to avoid all these different fads and trying to be more adult and more mature, I missed out on so many of these different amazing handheld games, and I really regret it. Though, I like to try to look at the silver lining at all these different things because I was trying to act more adult and I was trying to be more mature by not playing Pokemon games as a child. I got to experience Lord of the Rings Two Towers in the Game Boy Advance, which is essentially just Diablo, but Lord of the Rings. And that game was so much fun. I dumped tens, maybe hundred plus hours in that game because it was the one I always went back to because it was just so much fun. You're constantly, you're leveling up, you're getting new gear. You know, you know what Diablo is, and that's exactly what it was. And that was such a great experience to play in the handheld. And it makes me wonder why Diablo never had a Game Boy Advance game. Why was there no Diablo on the Game Boy Advance? They would have killed it. I don't understand it. Anyway, because I wasn't hooked on these Pokemon games as a kid, I got to experience games like Lord of the Rings 2 Towers, I got to play F-Zero, I played tons of the Super Mario games. I played an ungodly amount of WarioWare Twisted, which if you have not played that game, it is so much fun. If you have a Game Boy Advance already, try to track this game down. If you don't, I honestly recommend getting a Game Boy Advance just for this game. And the thing is, the reason that I regret this so much is that it would have made all of the road trips I went on as a kid so much better because I was constantly on the road as a kid. We had an RV, and we would just travel across the country because my family is spread out everywhere and it was cheaper to take an RV to all these different places every couple of years and visit family. And I'm talking about going from like Arizona to Iowa. I mean, all over the place. And yet I didn't play these Pokemon games. I was just playing this other random crap while I had Jurassic Park on VHS on loop. I don't... Oh my god, I would have had so much more fun on all of these different adventures I could have traded. Because that's another thing. Pokemon was one of those social games that whenever you wound up at a campground, other kids were playing Pokemon. So in the beginning, this is just baffling me even more. I keep, it's like uncovering more and more memories as I'm going, I'm sorry. I would go to these campgrounds and we'd stay there. And I would talk to all the other kids at the campground and trade Pokemon when I had all those games before I sold them for some reason, for something, I don't even know what. I would trade with all of these kids and I had all of the starters because I would go through and I would trade with everybody and we'd have like all of the best Pokemon and it was so much fun. Why did I get rid of these games? I wanted to be an adult so bad that I robbed myself of so much enjoyment as a kid. And it's just, it's so funny looking back at all this. And I'm glad that I can now appreciate whatever the hell game I want and I don't have to worry about it being, oh, it's too kitty. I'll play Pokemon now if I still want to play Pokemon. I don't care. It doesn't make any difference to me what somebody thinks about the video games I play. And finally getting to that stage in your life is so rewarding because you don't care what other people think and you just enjoy more things in such a 
better way. You're not constantly judging yourself based off of what other people might be thinking. And as a kid, nobody was going to judge me for playing Pokemon. I was a kid. It made sense to play Pokemon. It's not like my parents bullied me out of playing Pokemon. They're like, oh, you're getting too old for that, huh? They never tried to push me in any direction with these games. I just got it in my head somehow that I needed to act older than my age. I just, I don't know. I know I keep saying this, but it's just something I'm trying to like work out in my brain. I guess this is my form of therapy, but it doesn't cost like a million dollars. But yeah, I thoroughly regret selling my entire Pokemon game collection as a kid. And I just can't believe I did that to myself. I would have made those so many road trips so much better. Anyway, there you go. That's one of the biggest regrets for sure. For so many of the re different reasons I just gave. And honestly, I just wish I had them now because I'd love to see all of the different Pokemon that I had as a kid, what my team was, the different choices I made, which Pokemon I leveled. That's the thing about these different games is, especially with Pokemon and really long RPGs, you can kind of look back at what you did and it kind of tells a story in and of itself. And it's, it's really interesting to go back and look at. And I've done that with a lot of these games. I mean, I could go back to my old... Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time saves on my N64 and see how far I didn't get and I can see what I was doing and what just the mindset you were in at that age it's kind of a time capsule and I'm pretty sad that I'll never be able to actually experience that with my Pokemon game so I highly encourage you to please do that if you have not already go check out your old RPGs and Pokemon games see where you were at that time and, you know, let me know in the comments down below if you have any games like that. If you have any regrets, please let me know as well. It'll spool up more memories for me as well, and I can make more videos like this. Of course, please do like the video if you guys liked it. Subscribe for more content. And as always, have a fantastic day. See you, everybody.